Independence is strength. Collective independence is power. You know, hip hop is a powerful thing. But that power can be used for or against. I love hip hop. I said I love hip hop. So for the love of hip hop, let me share something with you. Listen. I got a secret, everybody come and listen. They took the money out of schools and they got rich building prisons. The people in the With rap verses and rhyme. Made it cooler go to jail, then gave niggas time. Well brainwash the people with a marketing plan. This brother all around me like he's stalking me, man. With his slogans and his phrases. One, two, one, two. Greetings, how's everyone doing? Right. Now, let's give it up for Carlos Muhammad. Give it up for Carlos Muhammad. All right. As he said, um, it's the second annual uh, fifth element of hip hop symposium. And there's just a few things we want to kind of lay out before we get started. How many people was here last year? Oh, we have a few people. That's good. We have some people that have never heard some of the things that we about to put down today. But anyway, we got, a, um, we got a panel that's sure to kind of enlighten you, encourage you, and move you out of your comfort zone. So I'm going to introduce them in a few minutes, but in the meantime, between time, we need everybody to understand some basic, basic things um, about hip-hop. Our good brother KRS-One, uh, good brother Minister Serra, working up under KRS-One, gave us an acronym for hip-hop. And I need you to write this down and make a mental um, note. Uh, hip hop is higher infinite power healing our people. Higher infinite power healing our people. And there's four fundamental elements of hip hop, in case you don't know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a taste test right now. Somebody raise your hand and tell me the four fundamental elements of hip hop. Oh, sister, right in front, she's on it before I can finish the sentence. What about it? Um, MC. MC. DJ, B boy, graffiti, and what? Graffiti. And graffiti, graph writing. Would y'all know if y'all was here last year? We did this. There were some people sitting on our panel that did not even know the answer to that particular question. Those four elements are synthesized by the fifth element of hip hop, which is knowledge itself. Those four fundamental elements are based on the four fundamental elements of the universe. As our good brother Black Dot in his book Hip Hop Decoded often says, all right, earth, air, fire, and water. These are not elements we just snatched out of the air, brothers and sisters. The foundation is rooted into the genetic code of black people coming from Africa to America, all right? It happened up in the Bronx where they were unlocked and there was birth, the birth of hip hop took place uh, in the Bronx. But the birth of hip hop took place a long time ago because we always did the graph writing, which is the hieroglyphs, am I right or wrong? We took the djembe, which is the drum from the continent, which is repl uh, um, replicating the heartbeat, which beats at 72 beats per minute. And all we did was hook up two turntables in the dark up in Cedar Park in the Bronx, and we did the damn thing. And we gave birth to something. We've always break dance, we always dance in festivals and celebrations. All right, to celebrate, to celebrate life. And the last element, MC, which is reminiscent of the griots. We've always told the stories and passed the stories down from father to son, from mother to daughter, all right? So just keeping everything uh, in context, hip hop is high infinite power healing our people. Here, the second annual fifth element of hip hop symposium. Do you think hip hop music of today. Let's not get hip hop confused with rap. If hip hop is high infinite power, uh, which is the umbrella for hip hop, and rap is one of the four fundamental elements, all right? Do you think hip hop music of today, this day and age, is destroying um, the black community? All right? Wow. <laughs> I don't think the actual art form is destroying the community. I think that those who 
own, operate, control, distribute, and produce the art form. Um, not art is destroying the people and the community they have already. Um, it's evident of that. Um, if you look at our prison industrial system, it's evident that there are more black men locked up than at the height of the uh, apartheid in South Africa. Um, in 2004, if my statistics are correct, I believe one in every 15 black men were, were incarcerated over the age of 18. Um, one out of six black men were incarcerated between the ages of 20 and 34. One out of six in jail. So um, I don't think that hip hop is doing anything. I think it has done something and I think that it is continuing to do something, but I don't want that to be misconstrued with what the art form is um, in its essence because that's not the culprit. The culprit is the people who own, produce, and distribute the art form. To quote the teacher, KRS One, hit it means to know is a form of intelligence. To be hit means to be updated, relevant. Hop is a form of movement. You can't just observe a hop. You gotta hop up and do it. So essentially, hip hop is intelligent movement. Now, hip hop music is doing nothing wrong to us at all. Hip hop music is a beautiful thing. It is all positive in its many forms. The rap music business, you gotta shut that down. <laughs> That's the problem. Rap music in the music industry, popular culture, the people who are what like run things the way Naruto was saying, and that's the problem. But when we come together in peace, love, unity, and safety, having fun, there's never a time when that's a negative thing. That's the problem. Okay. All right. Hip hop was once used as a tool to address social economic dysfunctions. Why do you think that's changed so much in the mainstream industry today? And um, deeper than that, what do you think the agenda is? In the well, city? You know, hip hop, you know, was once a platform for a voiceless people. You know, we were a marginalized group of Africans in America who were struggling to have our side of the story told. We were the victims of the single story. You know, a single story being told about our experience, our history. You know, so hip hop came along and it became a medium to where we could tell our side of the story. You know, so for the corporations that control the distribution, propagation of the art form today, that raw message, that defiance of oppression was not for their capitalist agenda. So they shift the paradigm to a more palatable paradigm, a paradigm that would uh, facilitate the sale of items that would promote consumer-oriented materialism, and that's where we are. So that's, that was the agenda. The agenda was to shift the paradigm from a more revolutionary stance against oppression, oppressive uh, regimes and uh, replace it with a more palatable, dumbed down uh, version of the art I wrote my first MC rhyme in 1983, being influenced uh, after I heard Grandmaster Flash in Period Spot. So what? Was that from a lot? My bad. <laughs> anyway, after hearing Grandmaster Flash in Period Spot, by, by way of uh, a rapper, so, and I was informed from my cousin, who was from New York, that what you just heard is part of a whole culture of things going on. So there's always been this dichotomy of the mainstream letting you know about certain things going on, but it's like the rap records were like ambassadors to a whole other culture. So once you know that there's a whole culture and different things you can do with that, there's always this, this back and forth relationship. So when we start talking about the agenda of the mainstream industry, the, the agenda of the mainstream industry was never to teach black people or any people about hip hop culture. It's to commodify it, to make money, and to do whatever the music industry decides to do. One of the things the music industry decided to do at a certain point and continues to do is dump down its population so they can be better, better manipulated for whatever agenda that they have. Right. So the criminology of rap records 
is by design. It didn't happen by mistake. It's like, let's, let's make sure these criminalized ideas get out there where every other round that you hear, that you listen to, whatever, is old glamorizing VIP section music, as I call it. You know what I mean? We in the club, we turned up, and we don't give a fuck, and then we about to get drunk, and then we about to shoot somebody, and then we about to sell some coke. Like, and you make you think that that's the cool shit to do. So that's what that does. Your job is, what hip hop does, it's a whole nother culture. Like I said, I wrote my first rhyme in 83. So since then, coming in contact that this is part of a culture, that hasn't affected the development of what I do with hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that we give too much power, when we start to say that the music industry controls hip hop, no, they control what they already control. If you sign a recording contract and you're a rapper, then you're in that realm. That's a whole other realm. That doesn't have, to have anything to do with we do with hip hop. The problem is, we have invested in our own powerlessness in the fact of what happens in your household, what happens, what influences your decisions. So we keep focusing on like, yo, they fucking us up with 92Q, I wish they played something better. This is the information age. You can play whatever you want to play in your household. You can have any kind of music that you want to play. You don't have to listen to their radio rotation. I don't listen to 92Q when I'm in Baltimore. I have no reason to. Any music I want to listen to, I can put it up on my phone and listen to it. What my children listen to is the music I tell them to listen to. And they, we listen to the other stuff, they like whatever's going on. But there's a balance. I control that. You know what I'm saying? So the agenda is to kill black people and to dump down the population. That's the agenda. Right. And you go back and forth with the idea of whether or not that's happening. That's, that's the big thing. Independence is strength. Collective independence. Power.